Welcome to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. And our player of the game brought to you by Coca Cola. Enjoy the Coke side of life. And Fran O'Hanlon through the mill today. And here's Mike with Fran. Coach, you've coached a lot of games here on the Hill now, two back to back overtime games, but you got to be happy with the way the kids fought. Um, I'm very proud of them. You know, the fact that they've they give it everything they have, you know. I'm, that's a good basketball team, uh, you know, and uh, I thought we gave them every, you know, we, we got down in the first half. We, uh, there was a number of shots that rimmed out, but uh, we stayed with it. Uh, guys never gave up. Um, we took a lead, and uh, as I said, it was a tough time stopping them down low. They're so big, um, but I was proud of them. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'll face a more athletic team in the league than that team, but uh, uh, you, you talked to me at halftime about shooting the ball better, and you did that. You moved the ball around, and you know you got to be real happy. The kids fought back, and they made a lot of big shots. Yeah, they did. As I said, when we move the ball and find our shooters, you know, uh, uh, we put it in, and uh, you know, it's just at the other end, we needed a couple stops, and we didn't get them. You know. Thanks for a couple minutes, Coach. You're welcome. Maddie, bring you in right now. 21 points, five rebounds. I uh, uh, talked to Coach about it. Obviously, disappointed with the loss, but you got to be happy with the effort you guys put forward and the emotion that you showed. Yeah, every game we're just playing as hard as we can, and we got to figure out a way how to get over that hump. I mean, thought today was the day, but unfortunately it wasn't. Yeah, this will be your second of four games in eight days. So uh, obviously you played a lot of minutes today, uh, and also Paul has played a lot of minutes today. Was that kind of the key coming in? Yeah, I mean, we had to do whatever we could to compete with BU. They're a good team. I mean, whatever it took, and we got to be ready for Lehigh and uh, Holy Cross next next week. So Every game's a stepping stone. Great job. Thanks for a couple minutes. Appreciate it. Thank you. You know, guys, this was an incredible effort. You know, a lot of people came into this game not giving Lafayette a big chance, but I tell you what, you saw the heart of a leopard today. Back to you. There's a team that beat them by 21 in the first uh, matchup. Not so much today, but they still get the W, does Boston University. Here's John with the highlights. Oh, uh, Gary, there were plenty of them. This was a hard-fought, great college basketball game, actually. There's a bounce pass from Foreman, and boy, what a finish by uh, uh, Jude, uh, uh, Banning on the inside. Uh, Chetty Mosley, very quiet in the first half, stepped up big time in the second half. And how about the dunk by the freshman, Austin Evans, going left and just throwing it down. A little pick and roll here, and uh, Paulus Jalis answering with a slam of his own. Boy, this is a freshman, Gary. Lafayette fans are going to have a lot of fun watching this young man over the next three or four years. Then he steps out just to give you an indication of the variety and the versatility in his game. Steps out even further, knocks down another three. When Fran O'Hanlon breaks down the film this game, there's going to be a lot to smile about. John Papali, the senior from uh, Boston University, you got to find him. Zach Roof for our own senior. I'm sorry, that was Nick Lidner stepping out. Nick got hot after a very quiet first half. Nick hit three huge threes in the second half and really was instrumental in Lafayette's comeback. Uh, they got over the hump. They actually took a lead. Zach Rufer brought the house down with this long corner jump shot. Nick Lidner finds Boykins in the corner. Boy, Lafayette found its shooting stroke, and it looked for a moment there, Gary, like they were going to prevail uh, after a hard-fought game. Look at the dish. Paula Shalise, these two guys inside. Matt Klinuski, Paula Shalise played the lion's share of the minutes uh, in that second half and really led the comeback. In the overtime, Papali hits one right as he crosses half court, but how about the performance by the freshman, Foreman, who uh, picked the pocket uh, of uh, Boykins, finished at the other end, was flawless from the free throw line. Gary, yes, a great college basketball game. Boston University is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the Patriot League tournament. No question about it, and uh, here's how the numbers shook out. The 89 Boston University points on 30 field goals. They were an amazing 22 for 24 from the foul line. All of those in the second half, they did not shoot a first half foul shot. They did not miss a foul shot in overtime. They were led today by Kyle Foreman with 13, 11 of those in overtime. Eric Fanning, 19, 15 for John Papali, and Nathan Judene had 14 points and an amazing 17 rebound game. For Lafayette, they got double figure scoring out of Matt Klinuski with 21 and five rebounds. Nick Linder with 15, Monty Boykins with 17. And his second career double-double came from Palace Jalis. 14 points and 10 rebounds. The 82 Lafayette points came on 31 field goals. They were 11 for 31 from beyond the arc and 9 for 12 from the free throw line. But a couple of those misses were huge down the stretch. Lafayette goes to 5 and 17 and 2 and 9 in the Patriot League. Boston University goes to 14 and 11 
and seven and five in the Patriot League. The final score, Boston 89, Lafayette 82. A reminder, we will be back on Monday night when Lafayette takes on Lehigh. This place will be jumping. Make sure you come back and join us at seven o'clock. For Mike Joseph, for Rick Kehoe, the RCN television team, and of course, my buddy, John Leone, we thank you so much for watching us on a Saturday afternoon. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.